Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will share with you guys five iOS 18 home screen ideas which will make your iPhone look totally different and of course look way way better than before. Now as we all know now with iOS 18 we have a lot of options here for the home screen to customize the device and make it look totally different and of course very unique from other devices so i will show you guys how to create these five setups which are actually very easy to create now as always when creating a setup on the home screen of your new ios 18 device the main thing here will be the wallpaper all you need here is just the right wallpaper to make an amazing setup for your home screen like this one right here this is a beautiful bookshelf wallpaper that has been created especially for the ios 18 home screen now i will leave linked right down below the link to the creator of this wallpaper and you will be able to find this wallpaper there and also a ton of other variations of this wallpaper now, as you can see it's pretty simple to set it up all you have to do is just set the wallpaper as the home screen of your device and once you have done that simply go here to the edit mode and then go to customize make sure you go with large so of course you remove the labels from the icons making it look oh, way better right there now right here we'll have a few different options i prefer to use the light mode with this wallpaper because it looks much much better because the wallpaper has a ton of different colors on it that way also combining with the colors of the icons i think it looks much better but of course you can go with the dark mode icons but i don't really prefer that you can see it doesn't look that good or even with the tinted one it looks maybe a bit better, but I really prefer the light mode. In my opinion, this setup with the light mode will look much, much better. So once you have set up your icons, all you have to do is just go ahead and place them on the places here on the wallpaper where you have like blank space on the bookshelf here. So we have some books here, place the icons here. We have a few more books here, place the icons there. And it's that easy to create the perfect setup for the home screen of your iOS 18 device. Now here we have another really cool one. Now you can easily create this simply by using this wallpaper which I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. So we have a few different things here. First of all, once you have set this up as the home screen of your device, what you need to do is just remove all the icons from the page and then I have only two icons right here which are sitting on this sofa. It looks pretty cool. And then right there at the top, we have that pretty nice looking clock widget as well as the date right there and as you can see this is from widget which means that it won't have a name here underneath the widget making it look that much better and of course giving the home screen a really nice clean look now as far as the icons go here i'm using the dark mode just because of the widget because if i go with the tint it will also tint the widget and it doesn't look that good but if you use another widget that you can also tint the icons maybe and if you prefer to do that i would suggest you go with the color picker and choose this green color right here that way the icons look much much better and blend in with these colors right here again this will tend this type of widget but if you're using a different widget then you won't have any problems it should look much much better so as you can see right here we can use the icons on the dark mode or the light mode again without the labels giving of course the home screen a really nice and simple look next up we have the setup with this device right here i don't know what device this is but it has like an apple logo right there it's pretty cool because it has this black space right there where we can fit the icons three rows of icons making it look really cool and you can see we have this white part that does have a huge contrast with this one and it makes the screen pop up really good now the wallpaper itself will also have a dark part right there behind the dock making the dock look much darker darker and much much better on this setup now once you have the setup on the home screen of your device all you have to do here is just go ahead and tint the icons now when you tint the icons automatically it will tint them with this color i don't think this looks that good with this setup so what i prefer i do is either go with the white tint like this one right here if you want a, like a more subtle look but also if you want to make your icons pop up more 
you can go ahead and go here, tap on the color picker and just go somewhere here where you have this red color, either right there, the Apple logo or the lines here and choose that color right there. Of course, always choose the larger icon so you don't have labels. That way you will have just a nice simple home screen with these icons right there that just pop on that dark background. The next setup is pretty simple, yet it's actually very functional. As you can see right here, we have a very simple setup with only one widget on the home screen. Now we have this wallpaper with this light right there in the background, a transparent widget which also has no name right there, making it look really nice and really minimal. Now you can get these from an app called Quick. I will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video. Also, I will leave linked the wallpaper that you can set up on the home screen to make it look like this. Now what we have here is a widget that has all these icons which you can actually modify within the app. I will show you guys how to do that in a second and they do work so if I tap one of them it will actually open the app. It's pretty cool of course having all these icons that look totally different here but they also do work. Now to set this up again get the app I will leave it linked in the description and then once you have done that to the home screen you just go right here to the edit mode, swipe here and take a screenshot of your device. Once you have done that, you need to go into the quick app right here. First of all, tap on transparent and just tap here and choose the screenshot you just took. Then you go back, move here to large and then tap on add widget. And right here we'll have the widget we just saw. This one right here you can also have this one which is very similar or maybe one with the clock. So anyone you want. And once you have done that, all you have to do now is set your widget. So to do that, you go to the home screen, you add the large widget from this app and then tap and hold on it, tap on edit widget. You go here and choose the widget that you just added there. Make sure you enable it's transparent, set the position right here to bottom and you're good to go. Now, as you can see right here, this widget also has like a profile picture in the middle right there. You can tap on this and you can actually change it anytime you want. You tap here, go to your photo library and you pick any picture you want. Also, when you're at the widgets right here, you can edit the apps as I told you guys. So all the apps that you see there can be edited. You can remove the ones that are there by default and add any one that you need. So let's just go back here. So here we have the apps. Again, we can just go ahead and search for any app right there and add them here. And last but not least, we have this simple setup. All we have here is a beautiful wallpaper. You can set this up pretty quickly on your home screen. You set this wallpaper and all you have to do is just place some icons right here on this side. Of course, make sure you tint these icons and also remove the labels. Go to customize, choose large right there. And if you tap on tint right here, you will have this tint on your icons, always make sure that you also remove that dark tint from the wallpaper using this button right there. And also if you tap on the color picker, you can go ahead and pick any other color if you want to. So if you want this color to match with the color of the ear of the cat in this, in this case, you can do that and you can see how good it matches. It's actually pretty cool and you can just combine these tints of the icons with any of the colors on the wallpaper, maybe the eyes here so you can see how good that looks. So you can have a few different variations of tint on the icons, of course, when you have a wallpaper like this that features a few different colors. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is how you can create these beautiful setups for the home screen of your iOS 18 device. Any links, any wallpapers, any apps that you need will be linked right down below in the description of this video. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. And of course, subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you on the next one.